Religious people will tell me that I'm going to hell for not believing in God. But whose fault is that? God knows me, right? He knows what I'm thinking, the reasons and motivations behind every decision I've ever made and will ever make. He's omniscient, after all. Meaning he knows exactly what it would take to convince me of his existence, and being omnipotent or all-powerful, he could act out just that. And he's a fair, just, loving God that wants to save our souls, right? So surely, if that were the case, he would want to do whatever it takes to save me. And yet, he hasn't. And so we're left with three options here. Either he just doesn't care to and I'm left to suffer at the hands of his own negligence, or he flat out doesn't want to and I'm given the ultimatum of having blind faith in him and obeying his every command, even though it wouldn't be sincere, or else I'll suffer for all eternity. Either way, it's God's fault if I don't believe in him, and yet I'll have to suffer for his own failures. Or, of course, the third and most likely option, he doesn't exist. All right, first and foremost, we give all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, who rule well, and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutations to the brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, it's so the brother Gabario from the Indiana camp. Come back again with another sit down uh, to basically address that video that you, that you brothers just saw. Um, so yeah, there was there was a few things you know there was there was a lot wrong with that that the video, the statements that she was um, that she was uh, 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 stating, you know. First and foremost, it being that she, you know, she's a Edomite, all right? You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's basically, you know, the end all be all right there. You know, Esau is not going to, Esau is not going to get salvation, all right? So she was like, he wants me to be, he wants to save my soul. That's, that's not true, all right? The only, uh, the only ones that actually will be redeemed is, uh, uh, first of all, the elect of the elect, which we went in that camp last week, which is uh, a small remnant. Of his chosen people, all right. Now, his chosen people, being the uh, uh, the uh, so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans and their descendants, all right, which it, which which uh, basically comes up from the tribe of Israel, all right. I'm gonna get this right quick to prove that. This is Joel chapter two. Verse 27, it says, And ye shall know that I am the, I am in the midst of Israel. Let's look up the word midst right quick. It says proper in the nearest. Um, midst among inner parts, middle, inward parts, physical sense. All right. So basically you're you're around them. You know, it's uh scriptures talks about what uh uh, how the uh, uh, the birds shall resort back to its own kind, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Basically, you know, you're gonna be around someone that, that 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 that's 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 as as you, you know. It's not a reason why you know you see when you go to school, you see people clicked up. It's people clicked up because the, them them people that they're with, you're gonna start acting more like them. You're gonna you you, you resonate with them. Okay, that's why if you see a so-called person who looks like an Edomite, but they what they're they're um. They're uh, uh, around Jake all the time, and they, you know, they act. You sometimes you have to say, "Man, this this white boy act black." You know, it's because really, really, because he might be a confusion of face. All right, he might be a Jake down the line. He might he might be actual a Jake. He just looks like that. All right, but in here, the Lord said he's going to be in the midst of Israel. He's going to be around Israel. Why? Because those are his people. All right, he says, "I am in the midst of Israel, and I am in and I am the Lord." Your God, all right, the word your is separate. You know, if I come into a room and say, this is mine and this is yours, you're separating two things, all right? If I say, this is my couch and this is your couch, I'm not saying that these are both our couches. I'm saying this one belongs to you and this one belongs to me, all right? So if the Lord is saying this to a specific group of people, uh, sorry, not Pacific, specific group of people, then the rest of his people, the rest of the people are not his, all right? Even though he created them. Every drawing that you make is not your masterpiece. Some drawings you throw away. Some drawings you actually don't care about. Then you have that perfect, your favorite perfect drawing that you actually put on a plat and you hang up for everybody to see. That's how the Lord feels about Israel. All right. It says, and I am the Lord, your God and none else. All right. It says, and my people shall never be ashamed. All right. So, so what, man? The Lord saying his people shall never be ashamed. Why? Because these, we're his people. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this.
This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, the Edomites, the father of the Edomites, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherit the blessings, what but it says inherit the blessings, he was rejected by who? By Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, man. He was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. See? So Esau really wanted a blessing. And he really wanted an inheritance. He wanted that more than anything. But guess what? He was rejected. All right. He got denied. Okay. Though he softed it carefully, though he cried and wept bitterly. But Yahweh Shagashah rejected him, man. That's the end all be all. So when she said it's his will to, to make everyone right, to save everyone, that's not true. That is absolutely not true. His will is to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. And he will and he and it will be accomplished by what? Waking up one third of Israel and 144,000 men. All right. And when those elect men wake up, then judgment is coming to the earth. All right. The same judgment uh, is coming to that woman for saying all the things that she just said. All right. Basically blaspheming because the scripture says what a fool. Let me get that. In Psalms or Job, yeah, there's there 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 there's a lot of them. Let me just get this one. It says, um, uh, Psalms fifty three and one. It says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abomination, uh, sorry, abominable iniquity. They are. It says, there is none that do of good. All right. So what they, they they say what man there's no God you know the God you know he doesn't she at the end of the end she said what he doesn't exist you know because she doesn't fit his because uh the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah doesn't fit her criteria as what a God should be here you go you guys you got a fucking mere mortal you got a mere mortal thinking how a God should act oh well he's omnipotent he should he should do this he should do that he knows this he's a, yes Yahweh Shemeshah knows us all. But the Lord also says, what? If I was hungry, why would I tell thee? All right. So it means that what? He has things that he doesn't even tell everybody. Everything we know is in the scriptures. That's the that's the most everything. Everything that we need to know is in the scriptures. Boom. That's it. This is what the Lord basically said. This is what you need to know to in order to get salvation. Everything else. Leave it alone. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that. In Isaiah, I want to say 53. It's been a minute since I actually pulled it out. Fifty-five. Okay. Yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a minute since I pulled this out. Um, this is Isaiah fifty-five, verse eight. It says, "For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, neither are your ways my ways." Saith the Lord. See, so man, so the Lord does things on a way higher scale than our mortal minds can think. All right. The Lord can outthink us a million times in one. All right. Where men, where he has it, where uh, men can maybe think two, three times ahead, you know, do a couple steps, two or three times. Ahead. The Lord can think a million ways, you know, just like Dr. Strange did in a, a, a what was that movie? Um, Avengers uh, Infinity War, where he's seen what, 14 trillion ways to do some. You know, and there was only one way to succeed. The Lord can do that infinity. The Lord can see a million ways to do something. All right. So the Lord's 
thoughts, ways, his actions are completely different from a mortal from a mortal's men's mind. All right. And on top of that, she's a woman. She's beneath a man. All right. So the Lord's not the Lord's not concerned about her and her criteria about her. What she what she believes is a God. All right. The Lord works on his own uh, algorithm. The Lord works on his own time. The Lord does everything that pleases of him. All right. He's the author. Like we said, man, uh, the word theater comes from the word theo, which means God in Greek. All right. So this is his movie. We are his actors. Some actors die. Some actors get sacrificed and some actors are just there for uh, collateral damage. All right. So this is uh, so by this being the Lord's movie, guess what? We just hope and pray that we have the best parts. You know, everybody doesn't get the main cast. Everybody can't be in um, a Ben Affleck. All right. Or, 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 or uh, a Matt Damon or Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or Will, uh, Will Smith or uh, Samuel Jackson. All right. Most people are going to get side roles. All right. Some people are going to get the uh, the the uh, the. Uh, the big crowd of people that dies in the first scene of the movie, you know, you don't know all them people. I mean, yeah, their names in the, in the credits, but you don't know all them people. You it really, to be honest, you really don't care. You know, that's exactly how the Lord looks at two thirds of Israel and the rest of these people, man. By the elect being the main cast and the, and, 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 and the people that he loves and the rest of these people just being collateral. All right. A good story of, of evil versus good. All right. We keep going. It says at verse nine, it says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right. See, so that's plain and simple, man. The Lord works on a, a completely different scale than us, man. All right. The Lord can 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 set up a chain reaction and have it executed, executed flawlessly without not one effort, without one mistake. He can set up a chain reaction that can happen uh, 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 from one incident can lead into a, a fucking um, a building being knocked down from one little from a fucking. Uh, what can I say? A, 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 a ant being crushed to all the way to a building being knocked down. All right. And he can he can he can have it set up every single time. Like he can have it set up and execute it flawlessly without not, not one mistake. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this. I just thought of it. This is uh, Job chapter four and verse 17. It says, shall mortal men be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Right. So you talking about the creation. The thing the, the creation is more better than the creator. All right. We just proved that Lord Yahweh, his ways and his thoughts are completely out of this world. You know. So here you go. You got a fucking uh, a woman at that, you know, and then you got to think about this. This is a woman speaking this. This is a woman saying all this. So you know how deprived the woman is. A woman thinks that she can actually change her sex into become a non-binary where she actually saying, oh, I don't have no sex. You have women out here that's believing themselves to be tougher and, 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 and superior than men. All right. You actually have that. You have a you have a society of women. And I want to say a society, I'm talking about majority, I'm, I want to say 90% of women that actually think that they're actually equal to a man. All right? Equal. Which means everything a man can do, she can do. That is complete ludicrous. That is the most, that's the most, uh, 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 um, how got, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Um, I think I'm trying to uh, put two words together. I'm trying to, <laughs> that's the most stupid Thing I've ever heard, man. All right, I'm gonna just say that. I'm just simplify it. This is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. All right, where a woman actually thinks she is equal to a man. All right, they could be uh, uh, twice her size or three times her size. Come on, man. That it's it's, it's not right. It's not it's it's not logical thinking. Okay. So I mean, that's all I'm basically. I'm giving. I'm gonna give her that fucking attention because. What she said, it was just, I mean, brothers even tell me, bro, don't even waste your time doing it. I mean, it's just, it kind of was eating me away at first. I'm like, nah, I, I just want to, I just really want to address it. Because 
is, it, the, the type of mind state these people are are completely through. And that's not the worst I've seen. I've seen stuff 10 times worse than that. All right. So Lord willing, I hope the video was edifying. You know, hope I brought up a couple points, you know, to to prove that what that woman said was was was, was ridiculous. You know, but anybody with a sane mind will see that video, you know, will see that video and be like, we'll disregard it, you know, just but whatever, you know, but Lord willing, I hope this video was edifying for you, brothers. I hope it builds you up and hold it, uh, uh, increase your knowledge and your faith and your uh, 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 belief in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Um, I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Double honor to my elders and my apostles, a great millstone who rule well and who was worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and to these brothers out there pushing this truth. All right, shalom. Till next time.